Hey guys, this is Michelle and I am creating a um, website um, with, I'm using the generate theme on the Genesis framework and it's a self-hosted website. I'm using HostGator as my hosting account and I'm going to show you how um, by default um, when you put in the name of your blog and the tagline, this is what I put in. So this is what shows up in the header. And I want to show you how to upload a custom header or logo to that so it replaces just this, you know, boring Michelle Grigsby, the empowered entrepreneur. I've got something that's a little more fancy looking to put in there. And I actually use a service called pickmonkey.com. It needs to be a .png um, format because it needs to have a transparent background. So um, the first thing that you need to do though is I want to show you in my dashboard, I just created this yesterday so this is still very bare bones, but in the dashboard when you click on the Genesis theme settings, okay, you are going to scroll down and by the way this, what I'm going to show you will work on any um, child theme. So this is for the Genesis framework. So. I just happen to be using the Genesis theme on this uh, particular example. Um, but under the header, it's right now, by default, it's set to the dynamic text. And I'm going to want to use an image logo. And I'm not going to switch it over yet because I first want to show you what I do. And so what you do is you create the logo in a .png file. You do have to name it logo.png. And then you go to your HostGator account. When you log into your cPanel, you want to go to the file manager. And then you want to choose the correct site, which mine is the Michelle site.internetabundance.com. I'm going to go to the document root folder and then just hit go. And then what you're going to want to do is you then want to click on WP content. And then you want to click on themes and you want to find the themes. I've got all these themes are right now on that on this on this domain and you're going to click on the generate theme and then you're going to click on the images folder now before uploading your .png logo file there is already a file called logo.png I've already replaced it but what you need to do is you need to right click on this folder and you need to rename it and when you rename it just name it logo with the one after it as you can see it's gone because I deleted it but first you want to rename that to logo one you know and then what you're gonna do is then you're gonna go up here to upload click on upload click choose file and then you're gonna find the dot PNG so it's called logo and it's got a PNG um, format so you're gonna double click on that which I'm not gonna do because I already did and then it will say that it's lo uploaded and you're gonna go back and when you scroll down, you will see that you have both the logo1.png and the logo.png. What you're going to want to do is just right click on the logo1 and just delete that. All right, um, because what I did is if I didn't delete it, then it wasn't showing up. It was still the default. So um, if you decide that you want to change the logo again, then what I would do is I would just rename this and upload another logo named logo.png. I hope that makes sense. Um, but right now, my new logo is named logo.png. It's uploaded. It's in there. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the dashboard. And I'm in the theme section. And I'm just going to change under the header to image logo. All right and it's going to go look for the logo.png file which is going to be my new image and click save settings and then let's go refresh and see how it looks alright there we go there's my logo I hope that made sense if it didn't please contact me <laughs> and I will be happy to help you with that so um, this is just one of a lot of tutorials that I'm going to be doing and I'm going to be doing a lot more than just you know um, customizing tutorials I'm also going to be doing I have some great internet marketing tutorials I'm going to be doing so you need to make sure that you are um, 
logged in, or excuse me, you need to make sure that you are a member. Um, all you need to do is just subscribe to my newsletter, and I'm actually going to create a heading here um, that will allow you to do that. So just make sure you are able to get my updates because I'm going to be adding some really cool content um, as we go along. So have a great day. Thanks.